Okay, so what I'd like to go over now is how to set up a free blog on Google's Blogger platform. Uh, as I have mentioned in other posts, I'm not a huge fan of Blogger. I think it's okay if you just want to play around with blogging or create a blog that's sort of an online diary to share photos and events with your family and friends and things like that. It's, so it's not for serious blogging if you have any business goals or monetization ideas, but if you just want to play around and have a blog for the fun of it, then it's perfectly fine. So first you'll have to be logged into your Google account. And if you don't have one, you'll have to create one. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but uh, it's easy enough to have a Gmail account and connect that with your Google Plus profile. So then we see up here we have all of our information. Uh, well, here's my login name and my Gmail if I wanted that. And these little blocks here represent other Google apps. So in addition to Gmail, we see Calendar, Drive, YouTube, etc. If we scroll down a little, in fact, these are movable. You can go back and forth with them. And here's the Blogger one. I'll move it up just for the heck of it. So we'll click on Blogger and go to our blogger home. Now I've already created a few blogs as demonstrations also. I don't really use this platform as I said, but I do use it sometimes for demonstration purposes. So here you see I've created a few blogs already. One is West Palm Beach Happy Hour. One is a cat juggling, a hobby of mine. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, luxury landscaping Palm Beach. Okay, I don't use these, but I use them for demonstration purposes. But today I'm gonna create a new blog. So clicking on the button here that says new blog. Now, as I said, one of the best things, maybe one of the only things to use these free platforms for is sort of a online diary. So I'm gonna create Rick's online diary. Let's call it Rick's web diary, web blog, because that's what a blog used to be, a web blog. Um, so the, the address will be Rick's web log blogspot.com so you see they add that in there uh, if you want to purchase your own domain name you can pay Google I think 10 or 12 dollars a year or something like that to get rid of this so you have more of a clean looking URL but I'm not going to do that uh, for demonstration purposes today let's make sure this is available it is not available okay so I got to change it so let's go Rick's um, online diary how about that online diary that's not available either. Oh boy, lots of Ricks out there writing online diaries. Uh, Rick's web diary, let's go with that. Yeah, so Rick's web diary. That's gonna be my new one. So let's, uh, oh, and here are all the templates you can choose from. These are the default ones. Uh, there's more, if you wanna search Google for free templates, there's plenty of them. Uh, I'm just gonna use the simple one because we're just demonstrating this today. So create the blog. It was created successfully. Fantastic. Oh, and they want me to know if I want to connect it to a domain. Uh, as I said, you know, you can do that. You can buy the domain and pay Google to have have that hosted on their servers. But I'm not going to do that because this is just an example of demonstration. So no thanks, Google. I'm going to just do this. All right. Now I'm on my blogger dashboard and uh, for this particular blog, Rick's Web Diary. Now, what I need to do is, is sort of create the layout, uh, maybe do a first post. So let's first look at the layout. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, I can add a gadget here. So what would that gadget be? Maybe a, an image or something that I can place up there. Let's see these different gadgets they have. So I can add AdSense. I can do a profile, uh, archive. Here's the image. So let's, let's add an image here. Mm, title of the image. Well, let's choose from my files first. Okay. Um, let's do, use these books. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. We'll just say call this books. And no caption, no link, none of that. So let's save it. And that will be there now in my header or my cross column as they call it. Um, what else do I want to put there? I want to put a navigation. Um, no, in fact, that, that was a mistake. Let's get to that later. So let's create a page, a new page, and we're going to call it my about page. So this will be something about me. And I'm just going to write, uh, this is about Rick and his online adventures. 
Uh, okay. Thanks for reading. Please send me an email. I don't know what else to write. I'm just making up nonsense here. So that's it. And let's publish that. Okay, now I have a page. Uh, let's do another page. New page. We'll say contact me. Please contact me at rickzulo at gmail.com. Um, and then I could put links in there, but you know, I'm not going to do that. So that's good enough. All right, now let's go back to our layout because as I said, I made a little mistake and um, I want to actually edit this. There is a, um, okay, I can save that. The header, that's okay. Okay, this is what I wanted to edit. I'm going to remove this. Let's remove it. And instead, I'm going to add a menu. So where do you see that? Let's go down here a little bit. I'm surprised it's not more apparent. Where is the menu? I probably passed it already. Okay, list pages. That's what I wanted. List pages. So I wanted to put all of these pages here, and I want to put them up front on top. So I can uh, drag it like that and move them around if I want, and I'm going to put save. Now I'm going to put this gadget over here, the one I had said I wanted to put a, a picture an image. So let's put that image over there, the one that I had picked earlier. This one with the books. Okay. And let's shrink it to fit. Okay. And we'll save that. Ah, right. That was what? Books, I said? Ah, yeah, let's call it coffee in this case. Okay. All right. Let's save this arrangement and see what the blog looks like so far. Okay, so there's a little picture that I decided to put over there for whatever reason. And here's my menu at the top. No posts yet. Let's make a post. New post. Okay, now we have to have a title for our post. The title is going to be um, Welcome to My Online World. Then I'm going to write something. Now here I can choose um, a heading, a subheading, whatever. I'm going to put a heading here. I'm going to put welcome. Okay, see, so it writes it a little bigger. Now I'm going to go normal. I'm going to say thanks for stopping by. I hope you like my blog. This will be my online diary so please feel free to comment all right and now here are all the things that tools you can use to, to make a post so you can change the fonts you can change the size of the text see the fonts different fonts there they give you about five or six that's all you need different color of the text uh, background color. You can add links. So I can add links to one of my other pages or an outside link. I can link to Facebook, for example, if I wanted to link to a Facebook post. I can add another image in here. So this would add uh, from this blog. Is there, there's just those two images. All right, let's, let's upload a new image to stick in there. Um, blog. Okay. Stick it in there. Now here's what I can do with the images. I can make it small, medium, large, extra large, original size. I can move it from the left to the right, add a caption, um, whatever. So let's do a small one and I'm going to put it on the left. And now I can also move it. I can move it up to here if I want. And you see the text wraps around the image in that case. So that looks really nice. All right, there's my first post. 
So, uh, okay, so now let's look over here. These are a few other things you can do. Uh, lists, numbered lists, bullet points, things like that, spell checking. Now here's some labels we want to put. So labels are going to help uh, people find your different posts. So this is a label about my blog and maybe it's about, uh, I don't know, what I ate for breakfast. So I put food. Um, I can put, um, ooh, I don't know, personal or professional or whatever I want. So, you know, those can be tags that I put on there and those will help people identify the posts in my overall blog. So there may be a hundred posts a year from now and they want to find the ones about food. They'll be able to find it because I just tagged it with that label. Schedule it. You can either go right, right away or set the date and time. I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, permalink is the actual URL. This is the one created automatically. It has my web address, the date, or at least the, the month, and welcome to my online world, which is the t title of my post. That's fine. You can do a custom one if you want to change it, but I'm going to leave it like that. You can add a location if you want. Just type in a zip code would be best or a city name and the map will automatically search for it. Uh, let's pretend like I'm in uh, New York. Let's search for New York. There it is. So we can add that. Now I'm in New York. Other options. Allow comments or don't. Uh, don't worry about this HTML or, or line breaks. And that's more advanced stuff for now. We don't need to worry about that. So I've got my labels. I'm not going to schedule it for later. I'm going to publish it now. Here's my location. Uh, here's my text, my picture. And uh, yeah, let's just show you how to do a link so we know. Um, how about this? Visit my Facebook page. And like it. So we can put like in parentheses because we know it means not just to like it, but it means to actually click on the like button. So, so we go, we highlight Facebook page. This is the text we want, the anchor text we want to use. Click link, and now we can type it into https facebook.com, and this is going to be Facebook's main page. So, and we're going to open it in a new window. Okay, and it says here, add no follow attribute. Don't worry about that. That's for SEO purposes. Um, if you don't want uh, Google to recognize the link between your blog and Facebook, it, it will, you can break that follow by clicking this, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So, okay. So visit my Facebook page and like it. There we go. That's what the link looks like. Let's preview this and see what this post is going to look like. Once it's live, I haven't published it yet, so I can still change it at this point. And that's what it's going to look like. You know, this is all pretty ugly, I admit it, but hey, you know, this is just for a demonstration. So here's my title of my blog. Here's the title of this post. Here's the navigation bar, home, about, contact me. And um, here's my, my Google Plus profile or my blogger profile. I'm not sure what that is. Um, and here's where people can leave comments. Okay, it looks all right. You know, again, I'm not proud of this, but again, just for demonstration. And let's go ahead and publish it. It's published. It's in the world. It's in the cyber world. And now let's view the whole blog. And that's what it looks like. It's got my first post. Uh, and there's my, that's basically my home page. But if I click on this, this is the blog page. Doesn't look much different at this point. Once there's a lot more posts in there, it would look different, but all right. Well, you know what? I'm not crazy about this color scheme. What if I wanted to change that? How do I do that? Will this let me do it? Yes, it will, but I'm not going to use, no, that won't let me change the colors. Let's go back to here and look at the template. Okay. So also this is what it looks like on a, on a computer screen. And this is what it looks like on a mobile device. So that's cool. It's mobile friendly. Now this will allow me, this is with still the simple theme that I use, the simple template, but different colors, you see. So I can use one of these color schemes. Um, I think I kind of like this blue one. Ah, the red one's kind of dramatic. It'll stand out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's use that. Let's apply it to the blog. Oh, it lets me customize it further. Let's see what the customizations it'll let me do. Uh, 
uh, well, adjust the width, the background, and all that. So I, ca I don't want this background. I can change it. I could probably tweak the colors a little more. But you know what? For this purposes of, uh, of demonstration, I don't think it's worth it to goof around with that. Let's just leave it as is. But let's see. Let's change the color, the overall template like we had. Let's go back to this red one, which I kind of liked. And we'll apply this to the blog. There it is. All right. And um, let's look at the blog again. And that's what my blog looks like. Pretty cool. I mean, how long did it take us? 10 minutes, maybe? Um, and it, obviously, I didn't spend any time with the writing. And that's very crucial, obviously, that you, you spend some time doing a, a nice post and creating content that people want to read and share. So that's really, really important. But today was just about the mechanics. So there's the mechanics of it. And I got a nice looking blog, free and set up in about 10 minutes. So we'll close that. This is where you can back up your blog. Uh, you can download the whole thing and, and, and back it up to, to Google. So they'll, they'll save it on their, on their hard drives. So you don't have to waste space on your computer. Or you could put it on your computer if you want. But it's also there on Google. Excuse me. So that's it. We're done for today. Let's have one more look at our blog before we go. All right. I hope you enjoyed creating a free blog today with me on Blogger. Good luck, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.